If z cubed equals 8i, we want to find the three complex solutions, or three roots, using Euler's formula for complex numbers. Euler's formula expresses a complex number in the form of x plus yi in exponential form, which is the form r times e raised to the power of i theta, where r is the modulus, or distance, the point x comma y is from the origin. This is the same r in polar form, and the angle theta is the angle in standard form or standard position whose terminal side contains the point x comma y. Because we are trying to find the three roots or three complex solutions of 8i, we need to find three Euler forms or three exponential forms of the complex number 8i using three consecutive coterminal angles. We will use the three least positive coterminal angles. To begin, we need to plot 8i on the complex coordinate plane and since 8i is equal to 0 plus 8i, the corresponding point is 0 comma 8, which is graphed here in blue. Let's begin by determining r, where r is the distance the point is from the origin, which we can see is equal to 8, but we can also use the formula, r equals the square root of the quantity x squared plus y squared, substitute 0 for x, 8 for y, and get r equals 8. And now let's find the three least positive coterminal angles in standard position passing through the point zero comma eight. The least positive angle in standard position is going to be the angle with the initial side along the positive x-axis, and the terminal side is the side passing through the given point, which is this angle here, which is 90 degrees, or one-half pi radians. So we'll begin with theta equals one-half pi radians, and now we'll find the next two least positive coterminal angles. The next positive coterminal angle is going to be one half pi radians plus two pi radians, which is equal to five halves pi radians. The next least positive coterminal angle is going to be one half pi radians plus four pi radians, or if we want five halves pi radians plus two pi radians, which gives us nine halves pi radians. Now we have the information we need to write three exponential forms or Euler forms for the complex number 8i, which are shown here, where we substitute r equals 8, and then substitute theta equals 1 half pi, theta equals 5 halves pi, and theta equals 9 halves pi in exponential form. And now to find the three cube roots, or three complex solutions, we find the cube root or one third power of each Euler form. And let's set this up on the next slide. We will let the three complex solutions, or three roots, be equal to z sub one, z sub two, and z sub three. So notice how for each root or each complex solution, we have taken the exponential form for eight i and raised it to the one third power, which is the same as the cube root. And now simplifying for z sub one, eight to the power of one third is equal to the cube root of eight, which is equal to two. And then for e, raise the power of one half pi i, we multiply the exponent by one third, which gives us an exponent of one sixth pi i. And now to evaluate this by hand, we convert back to polar form, which is this form here, where r is equal to two, and theta is equal to one sixth pi, which gives us the complex root or solution in polar form. The next step is to evaluate the trig function values using the unit circle or reference triangles. Using the unit circle, here's the terminal side for theta equals one sixth pi radians, or pi over six radians. So we know cosine pi over six is equal to square root three divided by two, and sine pi over six is equal to one half. We can also find these trig function values using the 30, 60, 90 reference triangle shown here. So this gives us two times the quantity square root of three divided by two plus i times one half. Distributing the two gives us our first complex solution or root, which is square root of three plus i. And then for z sub two, the only difference is the exponent on e multiplying the exponent by one third gives us e raised to the power of five six pi i converting to polar form we now need to find the trig function values for cosine five six pi and sine five six pi. Going back to the unit circle, here's the terminal side for five six pi radians. 
cosine five six pi is equal to negative square root three divided by two, and sine five six pi is equal to one half. Last step is to distribute two, which gives us negative square root three plus i. And then finally for the last root, z sub three, again the only difference here is the exponent on e, multiplying the exponent by one third, we get nine six pi i, which simplifies to three halves pi i. Converting to polar form, we now need to find sine and cosine for three halves pi radians, which is a quadrantal angle, this angle here, where the cosine function value is zero and the sine function value is negative one. Distributing two, our third complex solution, our third root, is negative two i. I hope you found this helpful.